Imagine there is still an outpouring of admiration on campus tonight. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer is at Notre Dame right now. And Suzanne, just about everyone that you spoke with has a story that they shared today. You can tell just by talking with people, Father Hesburgh was not just a priest and he was not just a teacher. He was a part of instrumental moments of people's lives, not only on the Notre Dame campus, but the entire world. It's not just the beauty or the memories that came back to Alexandra Moulton when she got on campus for Father Hesburgh's funeral. It feels like home. I come back here and it's, um, there's nothing that can describe it coming back as an alum. So, yeah, it's, it's special in knowing that um, someone like him made it possible. Father Hesburgh, known for his push to get women into Notre Dame, and for his spirit with students. Patrick Graff used to read Father Hesburgh the newspaper each morning. His presence to each person that walked in that room and read in the newspaper uh, was really powerful, and you could just tell that he really cared about the students that went to this place. Some never met him, but felt a sense of pride and feeling of community permeating through campus. And he had impact on so many lives, so many people, so respected. Um, just and so real, you know, just such a real man for being such, um, just having such honor and integrity. Patrick O'Hara felt he needed to be at the memorial service to honor not only Father Hesburgh, but his grandfather. My grandpa used to know Father Hesburgh, had dinner with him a couple times, um, so I'm here to like pay my respects sort of for him. Thousands gathered to hear stories of Father Hesburgh, like Bob Latif, who retired from the Air Force and flew in from Washington, D.C. If you asked him what his, what his love was, it was being a priest and being the president of Notre Dame. Honoring his life. It's not really what you do, but it's who you are, you know, and, and that dash in between our, our years that, that we're living. We should inspire to be just an inch of what he what he did in his lifetimes. Now, one of my favorite stories I heard today was from a 1976 graduate of Notre Dame. He was $2,000 short of graduating. And he received a call from Father Hesburgh. Father Hesburgh called him into his office. This guy had never been into Father Hesburgh's office, let alone met him. And he said, I've got you covered. Here's the 2,000 bucks. I know you're gonna pay this back before you can even say anything more. And I know you'll pay it back many more times. Reporting live from Notre Dame, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 20.